Hello, it's Clyde from Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to do a remake of my uh, coffee soap. Uh, this is what it looked like before, my old version. Um, and I liked it very much, and a lot of people liked it, but um, for me, I wanted to make the scent a little bit more sophisticated. So, along with the coffee lover scent from Nature's Garden, I'm going to add a little bit of um, chocolate lovers scent to it, um, a little bit of carrot cake to give it a little bit of that sweetness, and a little touch of nutmeg fragrance um, to make it pretty exotic. And on, on the top, I'm going to add a little bit of um, peppermint. I'm going to make a like a white top to that. I'm also using some real chocolate in the mix for um, added effect. And uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so in addition to what I usually uh, add to this, I put some um, caffeine powder in there. Get that all blended up. I've got some different things to do when I split this batch before I even start um, coloring it. And I'll be talking about that when it happens. Okay, I'm going to split it right now. Just need a little bit for the top. Actually, I don't think I need that much. And what I want to do to this is add some of my super fat into this. I have to do this separately because I'm going to add some melted shea with some melted chocolate in the main part of the batch. And I didn't want the chocolate to darken the white top that I have planned for this. There was some titanium dioxide in there too, and I'm going to color, uh, not color, but set this with the peppermint, but I'm not going to do that until a bit later. And here's the bulk of the batch, and to that I'm going to add the melted dark chocolate, and I didn't use shea actually in this one, I used um, cocoa butter, and um, just a general thing I have with myself is that if I have anything that's sort of food re related and coffee does fit in that category, I use cocoa butter instead of shea butter. that blended. Okay, then I'm going to add my fragrance, which is a mix of coffee scent, which was just a little bit, um, what do I want to say, flat. It had a coffee flavor to it, but I wanted it to be more well-rounded, so I added some um, carrot cake of all things, and some chocolate lovers fragrance, and a little touch of nutmeg. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do next. One sec. Okay, so I'm back, and what I want to do is pour some of this I want to make a, that nice golden nutty quality of some of those rich chocolate and um, coffee drinks that you get. And if you just add titanium dioxide, you get a sort of a light brown. So what I did in this case is I added some um, like a yellow ochre colorant because I wanted exactly that color of uh, coffee. Okay. 
Okay. Rinse my blender off. And I have some um, coffee grounds in this also. But I ground them finer than I did the last time because the coffee grounds are a little bit thick the first time I did this. When you do additives like that too, it's also harder to cut because they drag and leave a little indentation in your soap that's hard to plane out. Okay, before I do my in the pot swirl, I'm going to give it a good stir. In the pot swirl is perfect for the effect for this like coffee because um, it's going to look like, you know, waves of cream that are swirling in the coffee. I'm going to use a little bit of my white mix in this too, just to get a little swirl of, to depict like rich cream. Okay, there's my little mocha color and I'm happy with that. Put that there. There. And a little bit just through the top. Maybe I'll keep a little bit, not for the very top, but close to the top of that. Stir it a couple times. And get this in the mold. You can see the swirls in that already. I'm going to be very happy with that. If you can take a look at that, it's kind of like that marbled effect. And this smells a whole lot more rich than that coffee fragrance all by itself. And I'm going for a more of a designer coffee drink. Hence the name of Mocha Mint. All right. And now for close to the top, I'm going to add the rest of this. Give it a quick little swirl. Maybe I'm just going to run that down the middle. Okay, now I've got to take care of the peppermint top from the mocha mint. So I just added my fragrance to that. We've rinsed off my blender already. I've got a lot of time to stir, get all the bubbles out, bubbles out because it's not getting too thick. And let that set a little bit while I give this a little swirl. Now I want to just swirl the middle part. The rest of the batter in there is already um, swirled by the in the pot swirl. So I'm going to give it that illusion of coffee, but only in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to tap that down. I think I'm going to add Again, a little bit just to the middle to give it that swirly effect.
and then add the rest of the white. Right. I also have some mint leaf embeds that I made out of uh, melt and pour that I'm going to put on the top and make sure I cover this all first. And I'm going to tap that down. Okay, I'm going to come back in a moment when the um, soap is set up a little bit to um, bring up the top. Okay, the top should be ready to texture a bit. It's actually perfect, so that's great. All I need to do. The other thing I have is some antique silver mica, some gold mica, um, some iridescent glitter, and I'm going to dust the top of that. I was going to use cocoa at first, but I thought that's going to be a mess. And I definitely didn't want that. And then I'm going to add these melt and pour mint leaves. And I did scent the leaves also. with peppermint essential oil. I decided to um, do two different colors in the melt and pour. So there, I don't know if you can see, there's a lighter green within a darker green. Okay, great. Because I was saying I got uh, I'll get 11 slices out of that, and this is what it looks like. Better to be seen from this angle right here. And of course I'll do a cutting video uh, sometime tomorrow or the next day. So thanks again for watching. This is Clyde and this was my mocha mint um, coffee and chocolate soap with uh, peppermint um, embeds. So see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.